Hey folks, Fernando doing another video for Modern Survivalists and today I want to talk about the elections this week in Madrid. Spain is like divided in, in little uh, regions where each one has their own president and has a certain amount of, uh, of independence and one of the, the biggest, most important um, the communities or, or, or regions would be the one of, of Madrid. Madrid is the capital of Spain and they had elections recently. Unfortunately, the, the right, the, the PP uh, party, PP, is, I think it's like Partido Popular, like Popular Party, whatever, whatever it is, but that would be more of the, the, the center right. You know, officially, it's like a, a right wing party, even though, at least from where I'm standing, I think they're more of a, of a center right, but at the end of the day, they defeated the, the, the hardcore left that is, is unfortunately running the country, but this is a big hit. This is a big victory for, for the good guys, and it's, it gives you hope in the future. You realize that it's not all lost, you know. When people were asking me, based on, on the previous video, of how are things in our parts of the world, it, well, it really depends. There's places in which there's a little bit of hope. This is a, a, good, uh, a, a good sign, you know, just like in Italy, where they have, you know, made a, a change for more of a, of a right-wing, a conservative type of um, of government, which is much more aligned with, with the values that I guess most people following this channel uh, go for. That it, you know. Uh, they managed to have more um, you know, fiscal responsibility. They, they managed to have more rights in terms of, of, of self-defense. They, uh, I think they, they started with, you have kind of like concealed carry. It's not exactly concealed carry. Um, it's similar to the way it is in the United States, but you can basically get yourself uh, a carry permit with somewhat of a... Um, of a um, of a path there if you're willing to do so. So you know all of these are, are good news. These are all little victories for um, those that value freedom and liberty above everything else. And the left fortunately lost in in Madrid this week. And it's interesting because it has to defeat the current uh, president of the uh, Madrid um, community. The vice president of Spain had resigned and presented himself as as an alternative there, and you know, the guy lost. You know, so and he ended up resigning of his uh, uh, resigning his party entirely and resigning uh, and you know giving up politics entirely, which is a, a huge win. Fortunately, uh, it, it's kind of like um. Well, I, I like a peep on, on the general elections in the future, and it, it's looking you know, a lot better uh, right now because of this. So it's it's not that everyone is blind, and it's not that there's just no hope. You definitely see people understanding things, and. It, it, it's kind of a big deal because this is the capital of, of a country. You know, think of it like uh, Washington D.C. You know. Uh, going Republican, you know, what are the odds of that? You would think, you know, that, that's impossible. Well, when would I ever see that? Well, that is what happened. That's exactly what what happened uh, in Spain. The, their capital went with with, with a strong um, signal against uh, socialism, socialism against the left. The the woman that won is is called Isabel Ayuso. She had a horrible time uh, the, this uh, past couple of years. Uh, as, uh, as president of the community of Madrid, especially because of, of, the, of the pandemic. You know, at first it was being hit very hard. She actually made a very good job in terms of managing how uh, things were on each specific sector and, and taking, you know, some uh, measures uh, planned specifically for those places. If it was getting uh, pretty bad in one, then, you know, some uh, harsher measures were taken. In some other places where those numbers were better, just allowed more freedom, liberty, and for people to go out and, you you know, go about their lives. So within uh, within the limitations that she obviously had, she managed to do a pretty decent job of respecting the, the liberties and freedom of people, in spite of having to deal with a very uh, you know tough situation um, that is you know especially hard in, in places where you, you have such masses of people, where you, you know a, a capital of a country, you have millions of people. 
piled up one top of the other, very difficult to manage. She, she ended up doing a great job and in fact uh, managed to recover uh, the, the, the capital even better than some other uh, parts of the country that were not really as well managed uh, as, as the job she had done. She was constantly being attacked from, uh, from the central government, you know, insults and, and uh, being ridiculed constantly. And in spite of that, people saw through all of that and you know they 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 voted uh, with uh, with that in mind you know they were not tricked into this um this trap that the central government was uh, was was laying so guys that's it you know just you know how things are things globally are quite complicated in general you see in in colombia right now the you know the the left is fighting very hard or trying to overthrow the, the government with violence on the streets. Uh, unfortunately, some international institutions and some of the elite there that uh, are famously a uh, pro left wing agenda are doing their job. Unfortunately, so so you, you, you we talked about what CNN was was doing. CNN is presenting all of this like it, it's you know a, a massacre, like people are being slaughtered on the streets by the police. When in fact it's police reacting to a very clear um, revolutionary element from the left. A lot of this comes straight out of Venezuela. A lot of this is financed maybe by the same groups that you see operating in the United States don't don't think it's it's anything less than that these are the same groups the same groups that you know finance and, and organize violence in the streets of the United States many of these are in place playing right now in, in places like Colombia they just want to have these victories the more they manage to win governments across the world the stronger they become and the you know more they the spread their uh, agenda so guys that's that's all for now you know, have a, a, an awesome weekend take care see you on the next vi video have an awesome day